Hello and welcome to a variety of various videos. This is Chris here with you and we're going to talk about Dungeon Hunters 5. This is my character here, Lothos. I'm going to give you a little rundown of what you're able to do here in the game. Let's go to the inventory first. You got your info and equipment, basic XP right here. Your character setup, you're able to have five character setups off the start, various outfits. I pretty much just run this character. Um, you have the ability to fuse items together. See what I can fuse here for you guys. Um, still one of these. Prefer that you use something of the same set. You know, you want to use fire on fire and so on and so forth. But you fuse with some money and then. And eventually it'll level up. This one is max level 5 star, tier 5, and uh, level 100. So I got to build it up to there. And uh, some things like this armor right here. It's at max level, as you can tell. And there's nothing else I can do other than level this up, which boosts its abilities. Evolve is when you evolve items. As you can tell, this can be evolved up into this. It's next evolution once I get enough of these. Uh, as you already see, I have enough money to purchase it. And then you can sell what you have if you want to. Basically, what I have in my inventory right now. And your collections. This is actually a recent thing, just came with the last update and uh, shows you what you have and what levels you can get to. You can figure out what tier, what, what particular element you want it to be and everything of that sort in there. Enough in that area. These are your daily tasks. I'm not sure if these are going to stay or if these are just temporary, but I already finished mine. But different things like beat three missions, complete raids, and you keep you collect overall. So... Then let's go to the stronghold. You want to have a strong stronghold. Ah, uh, two people raided me. They got nothing from me though. See, I'm smart. I always come in here first thing and grab all my money just in case I get raided. And here you got your minions set up. You can fuse and boost them up. Let's see if I got anybody I can level up for you. I got anyone? Um, let's do this guy right here. Let's throw a strong and a weak. They're both the same element, so I get the elemental boost there. Gives me more level up, so it makes the amount of XP I get to level up greater. Because they're matching elements. You want to make sure you have strong... See, I got level 4 here. You want to make sure you have as many strong minions in here as possible and level them up fairly quick. Because you're going to be hit a lot. Alright, right here you have special uh, things, like right now we have the Monday, Monday Dungeon, which is Quartz Gathering. Uh, if you're a beginner, don't go anything higher than normal. Once you get to about level 20 or 30, you can go into the hard. Experts about 40, 45, and so on and so forth. I mean, it also depends on who you have for help. You know, you're uh, in social, I'll show you that. Your friends, you know... My friend down here, for instance, I wouldn't have a level 39 like R down here help me on a hard mission where I would probably want to have like Asi or Sneaky with me. Both good characters. In the mail, you get every time you do a mission and you have somebody with you, you get bounty depending on their level compared to yours. Then your leagues, what league you're in, based on your uh, stronghold uh, battles that you do. As you can see I'm ranked, I'm doing decent. And uh, and there again, you got your daily rewards you get to collect, which I'm not sure if it's just going to be for this month or if it's going to continue. But and then you have your solo missions for the beginners. I would start just level ones as far as you can go. Don't push yourself too hard. Don't try fighting through you. You don't save up as much as you need for when you get to the harder levels. Level up your each item as fast as you can. Um, as you can tell, I'm level 77, and I still haven't beaten this over once already. As far as I've gotten is 47 on regular, and I still can't beat it. It's that insane. 46 and 47 were recent uh, added during the new update. But with help from my t friends and their level 100s plus, I've been able to make it to, to, on medium difficulty 
up to here. Um, or is it hard difficulty? I don't know. I know it's not expert. On expert difficulty, as you can tell, I'm still way back here trying to get to that. Now nah, I can't even beat them, so I'm not going to try until I level up to probably 85. And right here across the top, you got your level and how far across to the next level you are. Your uh, stronghold level. These right here are how many attacks in the stronghold. Each one is each attack. These are what you use to spend for your solo missions. This is how much crystals you have, how much gold you have, and how many diamonds you have. Diamonds are used to purchase things. Um, for instance, we'll go here to chest real quick and look them out. We got the 50, they're all 50s. And you got gear chests, which everything's at level 3 or higher and can level up to level 5. Same with these, everything's at level 3 or higher, can go all the way up to level 5. And this one you get from bounties from those things I was telling you about from when you help, well, someone helps you. These are the tags you get. Let's see what I get in this one, just for instance. Nothing really powerful. Best thing you get, you'd hope for is maybe a health potion, personally. That's what I like the most out of them. But that's pretty much it. Um, you can link to your Xbox account. You see right here, alert 666000. And achievements I've accomplished already. Decent amount. So, uh, if you have any questions, just uh, post them below. I'll uh, answer them as soon as I can. And again, thank you for coming and checking out a variety of various videos. Please subscribe. Have a great day.